Generation 1 Transformer Review, Decepticon, Astro Train. Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Astro Train's tech spec. Function, military transport. Quote, in confusion, there is opportunity. Creating confusion is Astro Train's specialty. As a triple changer, he can switch from space shuttle to train to robot almost instantaneously. Astro Train thrives on foes' panic and fear. As a shuttle, he travels at 20,000 miles per hour in orbit and up to 50,000 miles per hour out of orbit. He can launch weapons and satellites as well as carry cargo. As a train, his top speed is 400 miles per hour with a range of 1,700 miles. As a robot, Astro Train has great strength and carries a powerful ionic displacer rifle. Astro Train is rated a 9 in strength, a 7 in intelligence, a 10 in speed, a 7 in endurance, a 6 in rank, a 7 in courage, a 6 in firepower, and an 8 in skill. This gives Astro Train an overall rating of 7.5. Okay, now it's time for the official review of the Generation 1 Astro Train toy. Before we get started with the actual action figure himself, let's see what you get when you purchase the Generation 1 Astro Train. Well, I don't have his box, but I do have his instruction booklet. Here it is Decepticon Astro Train, and it's really nice. It shows you that he will turn from a jet, or not a jet, I'm sorry, a space shuttle, to a train. And all the way to robot mode. Very cool. Okay, and that's a really long instruction booklet. He is a little difficult to transform. Next, he has this really nice gun that he comes with. It's a really big, purple, looks cool. I like it a lot. All right. And let's bring out Astro Train himself. So are you ready? Astro Train. There he is. Okay. Before we put his gun on, let's take a look at him. You see his Decepticon rub symbol down there. Really nice decals. This guy's a ton. He even has a Decepticon symbol back there. N nice face. Looks like Astro Train. You see the Decepticon logos there. Some color difference from the cartoon, but you'll have that. Really nice um, die cast metal down here. Great toy, great. Um, you can see on the tips of his wings it says Hasbro 1985. And then um, upside down, Takara Company LTD 1985 Japan. All right, so now his gun can go in either right or left arm, fits in the hand nicely. The arm can move a little bit, but you see it's going to hit this chest plate. Now, if it's closed, you're, you're, you're fine. But this is supposed to be open in robot mode, so it's kind of a shame that you can't really have the full articulation when he's in robot mode. I guess you could slide this down if you wish, but you're still going to bump into that, okay? So let's move it back up. Put his gun. I, I usually just pose him like that with the gun kind of sideways down. Looks fine to me. All right, and let's set Astro Train down. Let's come in for a close look at Astro Train in robot mode. He's a really good looking guy. One of my favorite Decepticons. Awesome triple changer. He and Blitzwing by far the best triple changers in my opinion. Next, Astro Train from the side as a robot. Astro Train from the back. And then Astro Train from the other side. Just a fine looking individual here. All right. And he's kind of. There we go. All right. So, Generation 1 Astro Train as a robot. Now, as you know, he is a triple changer. So, he does turn into, as I said, a space shuttle and a train. We're going to start off with him in train mode, I guess. Okay. So, let's remove this gun here. And we're going to put this together and slide it down and put it into his chest here. 
All right, so we're getting there. Might take a minute. All right, next, put those arms in. And so we're at this point. And I really want to get a good transformation the correct way so that you guys, you know, can really see what's going on here. Okay, you're gonna bring up the engine part of the train and click it into place. You're going to next take his legs and slide them up into place. And you see we're getting there to where we need to be. Next, you're going to swing these up. And in. You got to be careful, you don't want to break this guy. Okay. And there you have it. Is that right? Hmm. No. There we go. Okay. Now we have Astro Train in train mode. Took me a second there to figure out what was going on. You gotta flip these back. All right, so here we go. Generation one Astro Train in train mode. Let's take a look at this guy. He is fantastic. And look at the condition this is in. I mean, it's amazing. The, the die cast metal here is fantastic. He has a cool little sticker right there as the light. Decepticon logos on the front. Just a beautiful piece. So, we're going to set him down here and come in for a close view of Astro Train. Astro Train in train mode from the front. Astro Train in train mode from the side. Looking awesome. Astro Train in train mode from the back. You can see the three thruster engines there. And Astro Train in trade mode from the other side. This guy is awesome. What can I say? I really, really like him. Let's get an above view. It's only fair. Okay. Now, let's put Astro Train into jet mode. Okay. Now, it's a little tricky. Okay. Like I said, this guy's pretty hard, at least for me, for some reason, to transform. Okay. So, we're going to flip these back up. All right. And put them behind. Slide these pieces out lift them up and now you have to this is really weird pull this out but you got to be careful because you don't want to break that nose cone off and then snap it back down and sometimes I have an issue with this this is another part about Astro Train you got to be really careful not to break that nose cone okay so that nose is in Next, you're going to take the back pieces off, and they're going to form his wings. You're going to take the tail back out again. Remember, it was his chest before. And I think the easiest way to do that would be to remove that first. Slide it all the way back, and there you have it. Astro train in space shuttle mode. And he is fantastic. Look at that. Okay. Uh, this guy looks great. Nose of the shuttle. Uh, um, Decepticon rub symbol there. The decals are fantastic on this guy. You see three Decepticon logos. One, two, three. Nice detail on the tail fin. The thrusters of the space shuttle. And I mean, when you compare this guy to Blastoff, the Combaticon, he is, this guy's just a superior space shuttle. I mean, that's all I can say. So let's bring the camera down, and the camera won't lie. Here's Astro Train from the front. Astro Train from the side. Astro Train from the back. And Astro Train from the other side. And as you can see, he even rolls. I mean, that's awesome. He'll roll in train mode as well. I didn't show that. Okay, so let's move him back. And that's it.
I appreciate you watching my review of the Generation 1 Triple Changer Decepticon Astro Train. Please stay tuned so you can hear my pros and cons and see the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Astro Train toy. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Astro Train toy. As far as pros go, I'd like to start off by saying Astro Train's Generation 1 action figure looks just like his Generation 1 cartoon character. There are some slight differences, but for the most part, you can tell exactly who he is. There's no doubt about it. So I would say that a huge pro is that he looks like his cartoon character, especially compared to some of the other uh, um, Autobot and Decepticon toys. Um, I also really like that he's a triple changer because we all know three forms are better than one or two, I guess you should say. Um, the three forms of the shuttle, robot, and um, train mode are fantastic. And that's what leads me into my third pro. He looks fantastic in train or shuttle mode. So if you don't want to have him in robot mode, which meanwhile he looks great in robot mode, but if you want to put him in one of his vehicle forms, he looks great as a train and great as a shuttle. So either way, when you display him, you have a fantastic poise piece. The hardest choice you have to deal with here is deciding which of the three forms you want to put your Astro Train in when you display him. Now, as far as cons go, um, I guess one would be the difficulty in transformation. It's not a lot, but he is rather difficult to transform if you don't have the instructions or you're a child. But for an adult collector, he's not that bad. But I do want to say that if you want to quickly transform him into all three forms, it's not as fast as you might like it to be. And also, my other con is that when you have his chest open in robot mode and it's in the correct place, it does limit the articulation in the arms. So his gun is going to have to be pointed out to the side. And that is definitely a con. They maybe should have thought a little bit better about that before releasing it. Now, that sums up my review on the Generation 1 Triple Changer Decepticon Astro Train. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or pass it along to one of your friends who likes um, Generation 1 cartoons or Generation 1 Transformers uh, toys in general. Um, because any kind of feedback I get from you guys like comments, subscriptions, friend requests, make me want to continue to make these videos because you're the reason I make them. And as you know, eventually I will have every single Generation 1 toy, all 100 of them, up until the Generation 1 movie where they started killing off toys for fun. Have a great day.